Now, one of the most popular questions is when do I get my payout? Hi everyone, welcome to our weekly update on which mining pool is the best one to mine to to make the most amount of profits. Firstly, we'll be looking at the 50 day period for the 10 ETH pools that we are currently under review. And for 50 days in first place is F2 pool. Last week it was also in first place. In second place is mining pool hub. Last week it was also in second place. Crazy pool is currently in third place this week. Last week it was in fifth place. Z Pool is currently in 4th place, last week it was in 10th place. X Pool is currently in 5th place, it's down 1 from last week's 4th place. Ethermine dropped 3 places from last week's 3rd place to currently 6th place. Nano Pool is unchanged in 7th place. Ivon moved down 2 spaces from 6th place down to 8th place. Q Miners moved down 1 space from 8th place to 9th place. And Crux Pool moved down from 9th place to 10th place for a 50 day period. Then we're going on to the 30 day period. In 30 days, F2 pool is currently in first place. Last week it was also in first place. Z pool moved up from 6th place last week into 2nd place. Crux pool moved from 9th place last week into 3rd place this week. X pool moved down from 3rd place to 4th place. Mining pool up moved down from 2nd place to 5th place. Nano pool moved down from 5th place to 6th place. Ivon is unchanged in 7th place. Crazy pool is unchanged in 8th place. Ethermine moved down from 4th place last week to 9th place this week and 2 miners is unchanged in 10th place. Then we move on to the 15 day date range. F2 pool is currently in 1st place in this date range. Last week it was in 2nd place. Crux pool was in 1st place last week. This week it's in 2nd place. Z pool moved up from 10th place last week to 3rd place this week. Crazy pool moved up from 9th place last week to 4th place this week. X pool moved down from 4th place last week to 5th place this week. Mining pool lab dropped from 3rd place last week to 6th place this week. Ivon moved down from 5th place last week to 7th place this week. Nano pool changed from 7th place last week to 8th place. Ethermine changed from 6th place to 9th place. And 2 miners dropped from 8th place to 10th place. Now we're looking for the last 7 day date range. So Z pool had a couple of very big days in the last 7 days as compared to the other 9 mining pools on the list. But you should also note that yesterday they had 0 blocks. So for 6 days they made the nicest amount of money but yesterday they made absolutely nothing. So if you changed your rig 2 days ago and you thought well it looks like Z pool is currently making a lot of profit so let me move my rig over to them. Then for yesterday you did not make anything. So you just have to bear that in mind. If you decide to change between pools or hop around in pools, if you're lucky you might catch the pools when they have big days, however you might also be unlucky and you can catch the pools when they're making absolutely nothing. For those specific days you have an electricity cost on the one hand and on the other hand you're not making anything because the pool is not finding any blocks. Then we go on to second place for the seven day date range. F2 pool was in fourth place last week, it's currently in second place. Crazy pool was in ninth place last week, it's currently in third place. Crux pool was in first place last week, it's currently in fourth place. X pool is unchanged in fifth place. Nano pool is unchanged in sixth place. Ethermine is unchanged in seventh place. Two miners is unchanged in eighth place. Ivon was in third place last week, this week it's in ninth place. And Nano pool lab was in second place last week, and this week it is in tenth place. Now for the overall look at the movements, over here you can see the averaged out positions that I have over all the periods that I'm looking at. So F2 pool was in first place last week, it's currently in first place. Z pool was in 10th place last week, it's currently in second place. Crazy pool was in 8th place last week, it's currently in third place. X pool was in third place, it's down to fourth place this week. Crux pool was in fourth place, it's down to fifth place this week. Mining pool up was in second place, it's currently sixth place this week. Nano pool unchanged in 7th place. Ethermine changed from 4th place down to 8th place. Ivon changed from 6th place down to 9th place. And 2 miners changed from 9th place down to 10th place. In the overall rankings across all the date ranges that I have. And then just to give a couple of answers to new miners. And one of the most popular groups that I currently review is the Ivon pool. And the support gets this question a ton of times. 
Now, one of the most popular questions is when do I get my payout or why didn't I get my payout? Now, Ivan Pool has specific rules because they do not charge you any fees. They're one of the very few pools that actually pays the fees still on your behalf. Where for the other pools, if you withdraw with them, then you can obviously set the minimum withdrawal amount. However, you are going to be paying for those fees. Now, Ivan pays the fees for you and they set the minimum amount. So you just have to take note of what their minimum amount is which is currently 0.1 ETH. Now some of the users over there have reached the minimum amount and they still have not received their payout. And in those cases, it's usually because their stales is above 5%. Now why would Ivon care about the 5% stale? It's because Ivon is one of the very few pools that also pay you a percentage even if you do have a stale share. Where the other mining pools do not pay you anything for stale shares, Ivon pays you roughly 50% what they would pay you for a normal share if you have stale shares. And that's why they're limited. If you go above the 5% then you'll have to change your overclockings definitely because your overclockings are not correct and and if you look on my specific channel, I have a whole bunch of overclocking videos which you can use as a guide of how to overclock your specific GPU. And is there any way to get payouts if you're below the minimum payout amount? And the quick answer is no. There's no way that you will get a payout if you're below that specific amount. And the last question I'm going to cover this week is if I mine to a mining exchange and they change my wallet because obviously the wallets actually belong to them, they don't belong to you. If they change the wallet, can you still get the money that was mined to your old wallet? And the simple answer there is no. If you're mining to exchange and they decide to change your wallet address, then you will have lost all that ETH that would have been paid out to you and you obviously still have to cover your own electricity cost on the other hand. But that's why it's not the best idea to mine to exchanges specifically for this fact that they can change wallet addresses whenever they want and then you've lost that income so those are the questions for this week if you have any additional questions that you would like me to answer in following videos comment them down below i'll probably give you an answer there and if your question is very popular in the comment section then i might even cover it in the following video i hope you enjoyed the video this week like the video down below comment subscribe and activate the bell notification so you get notified next time I upload one of these videos. I'll see you again next week. Cheers!